Okay, so this video is how to change the fog light. Uh, you might have a cracked glass lens in your fog light on your Freelander 2, or you may want to fit some of our upgraded bulbs, our Osram Nightbreaker bulbs, to the to the unit. So let's talk you through how to do it. So the first step, you need to remove the plastic trim, and basically you just got to get your your fingernails underneath, and it just pops out. Um, there you go. No need to use any tools. You should better get your fingers underneath it. So you can see the sort of clips we've got on there. So they're just plastic clips that pop in and pop out. And there's some location lugs when you come to refit in them. Uh, you can see them on the bump just there. Almost pointing them out. Right, the next job you've got to do is there's some screws. There's four screws holding it in. We've got two on this side and two on that side. And there are Torx fitting. Do you know what number Torx that is, Tom? Is that Torx T20? We'll have a check, but I think it's Torx T20, most of the stuff is. So, there's a Torx driver there, we've got a Torx screwdriver. Okay, so we should take them out carefully, you don't drop them down into the, into the bumper. So all four screws are the same. Oh, God. Alright, so they're just self-tappers. I don't know if you can see that. One. The second one out. Now it's interesting to note that the fog light on the Freelander 2, the left and the right fog light, are both actually identical units. Uh, they're not sloped. So on our website, powerfuluk.com, we do sell the upgraded bulbs and we do sell replacement fog lights as well. So if we just look at all the four screws there, you can see all four are the same, so you don't need to worry which order they came out. With that undone, you should better grab the unit and just slide it forward. Okay, so the bulb's still connected, so the next job to do is remove the connector. So there's two little ears, you just got to prise back, and then just push the connector away, and that leaves the connector there, and there you go. So there's the fog lamp unit, and the complete fog lamp unit. Okay, now, if the next step is if you want to change the bulb, um, so on the top there, it's a H11 type bulb. If you just twist it round, it's a bayonet fitting, so just twist it and pull it out. Um, now, if you are changing the bulb, be careful not to touch the glass um, part of the bulb because the, the oils and the dirt from your finger get onto the glass and get very hot when in use and can cause premature failure of the bulb. Um, so there you go, so that's it. Um, good luck with that one.